Okay, so this ganache has been in the refrigerator for about four hours. It actually got a little stiff waiting for its camera time. So I've had it out on the counter for the last 30 minutes. Um, you want it to be the consistency of um, scoopable ice cream. Any harder and you're, it's going to be difficult to make the balls. Any softer and it's going to puddle out. So let's just see what we've got. I have the melon baller here, which works really well. Um, it gives you a uniform shape. It kind of works well. And then I also have the spoon method, which I use very often, so I'll kind of show you both. Our objective for this is you can have, um, you can make the truffles any size you want, but it's probably a good idea to make them consistent so that you can use them together in an assortment or separate and have them be uniform within the rest of your assortment. So my goal is usually to have a truffle center that's anywhere between a half to three quarters of an ounce. When it's covered, then it equals about an ounce as far as the truffle goes, which is a wonderful size. So I take my little scooper and you can see, boy oh boy, this is really soft, but that's okay. And I've mounded that up a bit and I will just puddle it out there. Now this, as you can see, is very squishy. There's no way that we can do anything with this. So we're going to put our little scooped truffle balls on the tray and then put them back in the refrigerator for probably another hour or so until they firm up. But see, you get a nice uniform size and I don't know whether you can see the consistency of this ganache, but oh man, is it beautiful. It is so smooth and creamy. And that speaks to two things. Number one, we're using premium chocolate. Again, I always say buy the best you can find and the best you can afford. And then number two, this truffle recipe if you'll recall, has five tablespoons of butter. Now what that's going to do is once these truffles are coated, which will keep the center inside, when someone puts one of these puppies in their mouth and bites down, it's almost going to be like a liquid center, which is pretty much perfect as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to be doing this for the entire batch. I believe this batch will yield about 40 truffles, give or take. Now one nice thing about using a classic recipe, and that when I say classic, I just mean it's very plain. It's just chocolate, heavy cream, in this case a little bit of butter and vanilla. You can decorate these in lots of different ways. You can decorate, coat them with white chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate or dark, milk chocolate, roll them in cocoa, coat them in nuts. You can do all kinds of things on the outside and still have just a pure chocolate center. A lot of times people don't necessarily like mint or orange, Grand Marnier, or maybe even raspberry. Hazelnut is kind of a unique flavor that not everybody loves. So doing a classic truffle center, it's a sure bet that if the person likes chocolate, they're going to be crazy for your truffles. And yet you can still introduce a nice variety by the way that you coat them or finish your truffles off. Okay, when we come back, we will have scooped all of our truffles onto the cookie sheet. They will have been in the refrigerator for another, let's say, hour, so they'll be nice and firm. And then we'll roll them, make them nice round balls, and get ready to coat. Okay. 
Okay, we have a little bit of ganache left over. The tray was full and I did say that I wanted to show you how to use spoons instead of the melon poller. This is a method that I've used forever. Um, it's really, really very simple. And you have a lot of control. I can control the portion. I just put a little bit on this spoon and then I take this spoon and I just pop it out there. This works really well if my ganache is super soft because it doesn't stick inside the melon baller. And I actually, I prefer this method because as you can see, I have a lot of control over the shape and the proportion. Notice how this is getting way soft. It is so delicious, I can't even stand it. I wish you could smell it, it's so good. That was too much. See? And then I just put this right here. Okay, I'm not going to leave anything left in the bowl. There's not quite a truffle left, so I'll see you later. Be sure to subscribe to our RSS feed and stay tuned for the next Gourmet Candy Maker Show. Bye for now.